Hi planner friends, it's Marsha with Buy Sell Plan. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to prepare my dashboards for my setup for April. And some of these, actually all of these, I made myself on Canva. I'm so proud of myself. I got the idea from a planner babe. Her name is Alicia. She's not on YouTube, but um, she's a fellow realtor in the States who is obsessed with the Franklin Planner system. And she created her own on Canva and gave me the idea. So these I printed up from, from Sterling Inc. <clears throat> so these are not um, DIY. So I've um, printed these out for my compact and... Um, for my classic as well and I like to put one in my memory planner too to um, indicate that I'm starting a new month and I also printed out from Sterling Inc um, the bigger one for my classic so <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do and I might depending on how I feel so I am day nine now of having COVID and um I'm still coughing quite a bit. I feel much better. Definitely feel more myself. Still still tired, <clears throat> but this cough has been <coughs> pretty... It's hanging on. It's hanging on. So if I talk a lot, especially if I try and talk loud, I'm coughing a lot. So we'll see how I feel. And I may set my binder up for April. I'm going to be going into the Sailor Blue Anna binder from Franklin Planner. And it comes with one in a a quarter inch rings but I took those out and put one and a half inch rings in here because I've tried tried a couple of times to do one and a quarter and I just cannot do it so I put my one and a half inch rings in here um, got a couple um, vellum dashboards from um, <clears throat> Jane's agenda I love these ones that I'm I want to try and use these as well. I just, for some reason, there's something about white font, clear aesthetic, and this blue is just speaks to me. I love it so much. So I'm going to set these aside for now. <coughs> and I'm going to cut these. I'm going to speed this part up because it's not that exciting watching me cut. Um, but why don't I just show you real quick. Um... I will put, put these down like this so I can put the vellum on top so you can see what they look like. So I made these and I'll, I'll be cutting them. So there's going to be two dashboards on each page. So some I printed on vellum, some I printed on regular uh, paper. And I just, oh, so gorgeous. And I tried to do like a, some blues because of my blue binder. This was again from Sterling Inc. This is gonna go on my March, or my March, my May, um, at the beginning of my monthlies. I just, oh, this these florals. Oh. So if you haven't noticed, the theme here is florals because we're entering into spring. So spring, summer, I'm thinking this is gonna be my theme for spring and summer, these beautiful florals. little pinks and some grays, some whites and some blues. <clears throat> I love them. And it really wasn't too hard. Um, it, was, it was actually quite fun. So I'll be cutting that in half. So we'll have <coughs> just a mixture of roses and some butterflies. And then these are just regular paper here, this one. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. And then I thought I would do just some single roses. I love roses so much. I love how they smell. I love pe peonies. Those are my favorite. And then roses are my second favorite. So. Okay. And then these are on paper. So we'll see how these look once I cut them. summery ones with the just one single butterfly and these I think where I looked up watercolor florals on Canva and these appeared aren't they pretty love them okay so I'm gonna get to it I'm gonna cut them all up 
and I will speed this part up. Okay, I am done. That took a while. That's the only downside to doing DIY is it's a little, it's more work because you have to punch them yourself and round the corners yourself, but it's worth it <coughs> to make something that I want for my planner. I'm just so in love with this. So basically what I did was um, I did a full eight and a half by 11 sheet. And then when I had my image on that sheet, I shrunk them down to be eight and a half by five and a half. So five and a half across, eight and a half um, height wise. And that, that's how I was able to fit two on one page. <coughs> In case you were wondering. Yeah, okay, so now let's see how. Oh, one of them is a lot wider than the others. I'm just going to set these aside. This one is a little bit too wide. Oh wow, it's quite a bit too wide. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be moving everything out. So that means that when I do my weekly plan with me, I'm going to be in a new binder. These are so beautiful. But I better put those away. Okay, so I'm not sure how much I will talk through this part. Um, but what I'm going to do is um, transfer my inserts over to this binder and kind of do a bit of an inventory while I'm going. Because, oh, this is on my page lifter, isn't it? Okay, I'll just swap them out. <coughs> I am so sorry about the coughing, you guys. I will be, when I do my editing, I will be, um, taking the sound out as much as I can with the coughing. Um, yeah. Okay, so I definitely want this at the front. What I'm thinking is one of these will go here. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, I love it. The only thing with this binder has silver rings and my charms are gold. So I may take a trip to Michael's and see what they have for silver. Except I don't have big silver paper clips. Um, or I may just keep the gold in there. Whatever. Okay, so I've got everything in there. I'm thinking I may use my same sticker pouch. Um, I did a DIY on this and it's not sticking too well on the sides. So every now and then I have to do some more reinforcement. Which is a bit of a pain, but it's so pretty. 
Did you guys know that Franklin Planner is releasing a pink Anna binder in all the sizes? And I went on the website today and I purchased a compact and a classic pink Anna. I'm so excited. I hope they have the same footprint as this one because this is the wider of the of the three. Yeah, three. So I have the cognac um, and the black. These ones are much... Um, they're not as wide as the Sailor Blue. The Sailor Blue, for some reason, was quite a bit wider. Um, you can see that. It's, I don't know what that would be. Half an inch, maybe? Wider, which makes it really easy for the one and a half inch rings. And the tabs don't stick out. I've done the one and a half inch rings on these. And then the tabs do stick out, which isn't a huge deal breaker. But um, anyhow... <coughs> I really hope the pink is the same footprint as this one because I need my one and a half inch rings and I can't, couldn't resist because it's pink. I had, had to buy it. Um, but they're not shipping yet, so I have no idea when they're going to come, but when they do, I, I definitely will do a review. Okay. <coughs> oh my goodness. Ah! Whew. I love this binder so much. Okay, so now I want to decide, make a decision on, I think I'm gonna put something behind here. And I just want something that's going to bring out the blue. I find this binder can pull blue or it can pull purple, which is kind of cool. So depending on what color you put, um, like what color inserts and stuff that you put in, can um, make a difference. So let's see out of these, which one do I want to peek through? This bike just screams spring and summer. It's so pretty. These will look good in the um, pink Anna, I think, as well as uh, if you guys follow Tanya Plans, if you're a Franklin Planner, planner, <laughs> you will know who um, Tanya Plans is. You should check out her YouTube channel if you don't know who she is. Um, oh, that, that one's nice. So Tanya has been doing Franklin Planner videos for a very long time. In fact, before I even started a channel, um, I used to watch all of her videos. She is awesome. So she just came up with her own binder. It's like a croc. It's a simulated leather and it's a, like a croc um, texture, I guess, and look. And I purchased one in a classic. I'm so excited. So I'm thinking these ones will look good because it's a cream color. These will look complement it quite well. So you can go on her website, um, tanyaplans.com, to see and purchase the binder. I was going to order one in compact as well, but... I was like, you know what, that's three binders within a couple days of each other. Um, let's see like how it is when I get my classic. And if I love it, I'll order a compact as well. Um, I think I like that one. I like the softer colors. What do you guys think? Or should I have blue in it? I love how, so I bought silver replacement rings, the one and a half inch. And I love how easy they open and close. In the vintage Aurora binders, the, the rings are very tight. They're very, um, you gotta really work at it to open and close the rings. Okay, so let's see. Hmm. I like that one. Why don't we go with that one? Oh, that looks nice with the with the tabs. I have to say, you guys, so you know how I have the Agendio planner, which I absolutely love. Definitely doing this again for 2023. Like, no question about it. I am doing this. I'm probably going to do pink for the whole year. Um, I thought I would get tired of the pink, which is why I switched each quarter. So I did pink, black, pink, black, pink, black. And I wish I did all pink. Um... So this is what the black looks like. I decorated. I know I usually do it in my monthly plan with me, but 
<coughs> you know, I've been doing a lot of resting these last nine days and I just wanted to have my planner and my stickers with me in my lap on the couch. And I did a little decorating and I just kind of started to do some pre-planning. But anyways, and it looks okay with the black. And what's cool about the black is then I have more options with my stickers, right? So I can get a little bit more bold, whereas with the pink, I am a little bit limited with the colors that I use. So, yeah, anyways. So we'll see how I feel at the end of the year, but right now, through the first quarter of this year, I wish I did all pink, but that may change. Um, I'm not... I don't know that I'm absolutely loving having all of these extra tabs and it cost $21 to have the extra tabs. And although I love my sections, I don't, I wouldn't change that. So I have CEO goals, social health notes, recap contacts and projects. Like those are the sections that I need and they make the most sense to me. I'm just not in love with the actual tabs and then therefore it affects like, <coughs> If you know, you know, if you like your planner to be punk functional, but also pretty, that kind of bothers me. And I don't like how I made this mistake here. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna tape these down, actually. I really wish, it was my first time though. So, you know, that's how we learn, right? You make the mistake and then you figure it out next time but I really wish that I didn't make this mistake where I wish I did this plain um, instead of with the line. I didn't realize it would do that, but what do you do? So I'm not going to put this one down because this is another thing that I didn't like about this, that my year at a glance is on the actual tab for the first year. So I still have to figure that out and go on the Agendio website and see if there is a way around that. So I'm not going to glue that one down. Okay, so let's um, go past my monthlies. <coughs> So these vellums, this here is from Sterling Ink. It's just gorgeous. I love it. So I'm thinking if I were to do something neutral underneath. And I mainly um, printed these on just regular white paper because I didn't want to bulk up my planner. I have done that with all of the um, cloth and paper dashboards where there are like on a good thick uh, thick cardstock, but it does bulk up my planner. So I did not want to do that with this one. Because I have enough stuff in here as it is. See, I love how that looks. I love the vellum on these dashboards with the words. Like that just looks so good. So I do like this. This is a cloth and paper one and it is thicker. Believe in yourself. And I like that for my goals tab. So I'm gonna leave that there. Social media. This one here has a pink hue to it. Let's see, I'm wondering if I took that one out something oh that's pretty I just don't like how again because in my goals tab I made inserts for rolls for my rolls and it printed on the tab for the next section Ugh, so that that really bothers me so that's why I want to cover it up I like that my health section I want to focus on the moon phases and doing like the full moon and new moon rituals. So that's why I kept this in here. Um, but I don't know. 
Let's see, I'm going to take this one out. Yeah, why not? And then for my notes section, I figured that's pretty fitting. It's a single rose on this really pretty dashboard. I made this. This was from um, a scrapbook um, pad that I have. And that looks, looks quite nice. Okay, so let's take a look here and see how everything fits in with the color of the binder. I really like how that looks. And it's pretty. Yep, love it. So we've got January, February, March, April, and May. Don't have the rest yet. So my first tab after my monthlies. <coughs> Is the budget. I quite like that actually now that I'm looking at it again with the black and white sterling ink vellum over top of this one that I made. Like that. CEO tab. I'm wondering actually. Let's see something here. This just feels too dark to me. So, let's just play around with a couple. Okay, I think that's the winner. That one it is. All right, so that's my CEO tab. Goals tab is staying the same. Love that. Love all of that. My social media, I changed to these beautiful florals. I just love the blue. How gorgeous is that? I'm telling you, Canva is a really good invention. And it's so user-friendly. That's kind of nice. It looks like an explosion of flowers. I just don't like how you can see the rolls pe peeking through, so I feel like I need something more solid underneath. Nope, that red doesn't suit. And then the notes has vellum, but it doesn't have anything solid underneath. I'm going to take the sterling ink one out, put this one on top because it kind of looks like it has the berries in it. Yep, yep, that's it. Love it. And then my projects tab. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, we're good with that. So now, let's figure out about the pockets. <coughs> so I finally got my Paper Panda order in. I ordered a boatload of these little samplers. So um, for, I don't know if it was boxing, not Boxing Day, Black Friday, uh, I ordered a bunch of like Paper Panda. They had a huge sale for like just grab bags, just random stickers. And then one of these um, succulent circles um, came in one of my orders and I just fell in love with this color palette. So I had to go on their website and I just ordered, I went a little crazy. I ordered a boatload. I love these colors. So I definitely want to probably have three of them in there. 
Okay, let's see what else. Definitely want to have business cards on hand. Oh, I think I have old ones in here. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I have my, some old cards. I got new pictures done. <coughs> so put those in there. These are like having these wipes for glasses or my screens. Keep those in there. Not sure about these, so let's see. I feel like I need more inspiration when it comes to the pockets. Because I did the cloth and paper subscription box for a good year, and so I have so many of these kind of monochromatic type cards and some of them are just not my style. Wisdom is the daughter of experience. I like that. It's very soft too. But again, I just don't like how big it is and then I feel bad cutting it. So I just, I leave it alone and it sits in my little pouch. Love this iconic one. I don't remember that having a bit of an orange tinge on the bottom. I wonder if my binder did that. I do like this too though. It's a good reminder. Reminds me of the time matrix. Well, but then I don't like how that covers that. Okay. You know what I realized? I didn't use these. But I don't know that it is totally necessary. helps to soften that one just a little bit. Yeah, that looks nice. I think that's all I need just at, at the front. Okay, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna decide on the stickers um, once I decide on what stickers I'm gonna be using throughout the month. So I'm not gonna worry about that just yet. I'll do that when I do my monthly plan with me, which I think I'll be filming tomorrow. Okay, so that's my binder set up for, <coughs> um, yeah, for the month of April. And you know what I just realized as I did this? I did not film my uh, March flip through. <laughs> Do you remember at the end of last year, I was like, every month I'm going to do a flip through of my binder before I switch it over so that you guys can see how, you know, how my binder looks each month. Oops. Oh, well, the inside of my binder doesn't really change because I have all the information that I need in here. So I just, I add to it. And I just, you know, I just, I use my binder. So I'm not really adding things. So there's not really much but I will I will make an effort to do a flip through um, before I switch into things for the month of May okay guys thank you for watching I hope that was enjoyable for you and you got some a little bit of inspiration for your planning I'm not liking this actually at all it's too bulky um, yeah let me know if you have any questions happy to answer them if you have any questions on how I did my DIY dashboards, let me know. And have a great rest of your day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.